Hi guys, welcome back to Creative Frenzy. All right, lighting is gonna be a little bit off today because, well, we're having a thunderstorm in February, so there is that. Anyway, uh, today I wanted to share with you how I created this little scale for in the dollhouse kitchen. Uh, simple and cute. That's what I'm going for. <laughs> so anyway, uh, yeah, simple, like I said. All right, I did start one and then I got a phone call from my daughter, so I had to cut it short. Anyway, uh, I will show you again. I'm just cutting off the part of this so that we can use it as the face plate for the scale. Now, we can go fancy and uh, do printouts and all kinds of things, but I'm not about all that. Sometimes you just want a quick little craft that looks good. So that's what I'm doing. Oh, this one's even better. Okay, so we have a nice surface area now for our um, scale readout. Now the top might be a little bit of an issue because it's not as wide. So we'll see how the hole works. We might end up going back to this one, but we shall see. Slowly but surely, there we go. I'm gonna make it a little bit wider so we can fit our bread in there. So if you have one with a square head, that'd be perfect. I'm trying to think of what else you could use. You could use um, an earring blank, like a round one, or you could use a thumbtack. If the head is uh, flat enough, you could do that or you could use a colored thumbtack, or you could paint it, whatever you felt like doing. So actually that would work quite nicely. There's some pretty ones out there that you could use. And actually the size might not be too bad. But that would be the part that would be the, the pressure plate for the scale. Let me just grab a thumbtack and see how well that would look. And then we can do a bit of a comparison. Let's see, I have a bunch of thumbtacks in here, amongst other things, ow, <laughs> without poking yourself, that would be handy. So actually that would be quite a good size. I do have some colored ones in here too, so let's see. It's a bit more rounded, but if you wanted to add a little bit extra color you could, or you could just take that off and not worry about it. Um, let's see how well that would work. It's not as flat but I think that would work just as well. It's not bad. Anyway, so if you were looking for an alternative to a brad, you could obviously do something like that. That'd be perfect. And then save all these little pieces because you never know what you're gonna use them for. All right, let's see. So for the face plate, or where the um, numbers would be for the scale, I did use a part of a snap button system that I got at uh, Princess Auto. So I got that, or you could just use plain paper, or you could use, uh, like if you were to trim this off and then glue that on there, that kind of thing. So it all depends on what style you're looking for. If you're looking for something retro or something a bit more modern, you could go either way, so. Or you could just do paper, that's okay too. And then you can do uh, paper up here too, and just stack it a little bit and have a piece underneath just to raise it up a bit. So you can glue your plate onto something. Whether or not you have a plate is entirely up to you. Um, I just bought a set off of AliExpress, so like you get 30 of them, all different kinds of dishes, and then you can use the fancy one, or just the plain one, depending how big you want it to be. There's some smaller ones in here, and some larger ones. So you could do something like that if you wanted to. That'd be kind of cool if you wanted to do something a bit longer. Anyway, I digress. <laughs> so 
you could do it any which way you like. I'm just going to do some, um, I was going to do something else, but I think I'll just do it this way. I'm just going to squeeze a little bit onto my paper towel and then we're just going to paint it. Sometimes you just want a quick and simple, easy craft to create for the dollhouse. And you can make these uh, in bulk if you wanted to sell them. Very easy to do. I mean, I've seen some really cute scales out there, and I don't think it is something that you need to spend a whole lot of time in making. But if you wanted to make some for a craft fair or something like that, or for a bunch of people... You can make them all different colors. You can make them more modern, more retro, whatever you felt like doing. As fancy or as unfancy as you would like. Oh. I thought I had some baby wipes up. Apparently not. So we're going to let that dry and we will come back to it. So I'm back. The paint's not quite dry yet, but I figure we're just going to carry on. So here I have a bead cap. It is a very cheap one that I got at the dollar store a long time ago, but I use it for many different things. I flatten these and use them as stovetop burners, and um, I've used them in lamps, a um, bunch of different things for miniatures. So they come in handy, even though they're fairly inexpensive and kind of cheap looking, but you know, they do lots of uh, important jobs. So anyway, I figure I'd paint this one too, and then we'll make two. So, you know, I grabbed a couple more things. So these are earring blanks, basically, as you can see, but they're nice and flat. So you could use something like this. I have a ton, obviously, because I also make jewelry, but these would make a good um, um, scale, uh, the, the plunger scale part. Anyway, I don't know what the correct term for that. I don't understand what it is. I had it earlier and I've forgotten. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I punched out a couple of circles. You could do that instead of um, the snap button piece. Whatever you have on hand, you could even use a um, chain, chain mail ring or whatever, you know, whatever jewelry findings you might have on hand. Jump ring, that's the word I've been looking for. Wow, words are escaping me today. I am so sorry. All right, so you could use silver, you could use gold or brass or whatever. You could paint them. It's entirely up to you. But the beauty of it is, you have lots of different options. If you have a very basic shape, you can fancy it up as much as you like. So, um, again, I'm gonna use this one because I kinda like it, but I like this one too. So, depending on what you have on hand, we're gonna do whatever we tend to wanna do. So, again, pressure fit would probably be fine, but, I want to make sure it stays put and you do want it up a little bit so that it looks like it's uh, part of the scale if it's a little bit crooked it's not horrible well, there's the one and then we'll do this one you could do it with thumbtack I wonder if I can flatten that out a bit without it you know causing too much problem Let's see, in case you don't have the other things on hand, try to make it a little bit easier on you. I mean, you're going to be gluing something on it anyway, so I don't think it'll be too much of an issue. It's a little bit flatter. And if you wanted sort of an antique look, you know, something that's been used for a while in the kitchen, then this is obviously kind of a cool choice. So... There. 
you want it sticking up a bit so it you know depending how deep you drill that hole so there we go two different options and then you can go from there now this won't show up as easily on this one but that doesn't mean we can't ink the edges you know what we're going to do is we're going to glue them together first okay fine I'm just recycling some paper. It's fairly thin paper, so you could obviously use cardstock. Um, you could do printout of a scale face. You know, all the numbers and the dials and stuff. Or the hands. And then you can put that on there, like that, and then, you know. You know what a scale looks like, but I'm going to antique this one a bit. And we'll go from there. And then if you want, you can antique the edges just to make it look a little bit grungier. Sure, you don't lose that thumbtack. <laughs> you can use alcohol ink too for this if your uh, other piece is not working the way you would like. And then this one, we're going to glue this on there. But I'm also going to put a fancy foot underneath here because I think it looks cool it just gives you a little bit of extra height and I just I don't know I kind of like the look of it so it will drop off don't worry you'll put it back you could put a piece of paper in the center of that obviously but that is entirely up to you. Hot glue would probably work a bit quicker in this. Come on. We'll let it dry and we'll come back to it. <laughs> All right, so this is more or less dry. Uh, again, you could antique this or you could paint it um, well, you know what? Let's give it a bit of an antique look. We'll just get our paint out. Make it look like it was painted at one time. And just sort of, you know, aged over time kind of thing. There we go. And you could finish that off. You make it look like uh, enamel if you wanted to with a few coats or you could just leave it as is or you know keep it plain and then just glue your plate on there some scales already have the bowl others you have to add to it so it all depends on how you want to do it so again um, got these inexpensively off of Aliexpress I'm going to use probably a tray one let's see here's a small plate Oops. The other one I use a flower one, but we could use just a plain one too. Needs a little bit of sanding. I find because they're quite inexpensive, the flashing on there is quite rough. You can paint these, of course. You could do metallic finish on it and then put it on there, and then it looks like it's part of the scale. That's entirely up to you. Just a dab of glue, and away you go. Or you could just use museum wax. Maybe we'll do that. Let's do that because then I can remove it if I have to. Yeah. Where did I put it? Bear with me. I'll be back in just a sec. All right, located it. <laughs> so I've just uh, got this for Christmas, which is very nice. It has come in very handy. 
and I've used quite a bit of it already, but this is perfect for this kind of thing, especially if you're not entirely sure if this is how you want to keep it. You know, if you're just making it for yourself and you want to eventually do something different, you absolutely could. So I just need a dab. And then I just place it on there. Straight, preferably. But there we have the fancy sort of retro. It's not quite dry yet, but that's okay. Um, you know what we could do? Let's clean that off. Not everything works out the way you like. But we can fix it. We have the means. I'll grab another one. I have the feeling that one's not going to stick if I keep messing around with it. Again, you know, you do you. Whatever works. This is supposed to be a simple <laughs> thing. And sometimes, you know, it gets a little out of hand. So, a good dollop. And we'll place that on there. There we go. It works a little bit quicker than glue. And then uh, it's easier to work with. So there we go. There's the one. It's a bit more retro looking. But you can change out the plates, which is kind of cool. This one, you can leave it as is. Do another couple coats of paint. Whatever you feel like. And then uh, have at it. You could put a fancy bowl in there. Like even something like this if you wanted to. It's not very, uh, you know, flower proof basically. <laughs> but I think it would work in a pinch. Especially if it's just supposed to be a decorative piece. But there we go. Nope. Not even close to being center. There. So two scales. Simple. Just a couple blocks. And some things from around the house. And you're good to go. There. Give you a better look. There we go. Oh, there. Sorry about that. Easy peasy. Alright, we'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye.